I saw that there was a line of ambulances lined up and one by one they came out of containers and so I watched all of her organs leave, which was quite emotional. She obviously failed a brain dead test. The organ donation team did come in and just said, is it something that you would have thought of in the past? But I didn't feel pressured at any point. So I just looked at Kira and thought if Kira was given the option, I'm sure she would have said yes. Because it was in her nature, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Because that's just how she is. Yes, give this to whoever, you know, she's just a kind, kind child. It's tragic, it's heart-wrenching that we've lost Kira, but unfortunately there was nothing that could be done for Kira. But the fact that she's gone on and saved four other people um, is absolutely amazing. I honestly was ready, ready to die. I didn't think I'd make it. I, I hugged mum and dad thinking it's the last hug with my parents. It just felt really cruel because that sparky, active little boy became completely constrained by a failing body. This thing goes in right there. They fitted a mechanical pump that goes in the heart and effectively whirs around and it whirs the blood around your body. It kept Max relatively safe whilst he waited for a new heart. Our thoughts about the donor at the time was an overwhelming sense of deep gratitude that the word thank you didn't do justice to. They've thought of others uh, at that really difficult moment. Are you going to go first? Yeah. First of all, we need to frame this. Dear Max, I hope you are feeling much better after your heart transplant and are enjoying being back home with your mum and dad. And more lives will be saved with lots of love, Theresa May. I love it. I remember asking mum and dad, could it be Max and Kira's law? And I'm so happy that they've done it. She's not saved one life, she's saved four people's life. She is a hero. I want everyone to talk to each other. What decision will it be? Let your organs go to waste and just decay or save a few people's lives.